We've come here to the latter days and he's seeing as history is beginning to wrap up, he's seeing two dis very distinct groups emerge. One of them he's told is the church of the lamb and the other is the church of the devil. And, and the question for the Gentiles is who are you going to join, right? Who are you going to ally yourself with? Um, so yeah, we can dive into this and look at this. Let's look at, um, at chapter 14, verse 14. And let's try and figure out who are the saints of the Lamb of God. It came to pass that I, Nephi, beheld the power of the Lamb of God, that it descended upon the saints of the church of the Lamb and upon the covenant people of the Lord who were scattered upon all the face of the earth. And they were armed with righteousness and with the power of God in great glory. So it looks like we're not talking about specific individual organizations or churches, right? Mm -hmm. Instead, we're talking about something a little bit more fundamental, a little bit more monumental and cosmic. And um, the saints of the church of the lamb are the covenant people of the Lord. Whether you are ethnically of the house of Israel or whether you are counted and numbered among the covenant people of the Lord because of the covenants that you've made individually, we know that they're scattered across the earth, right? So they're in, in all nations uh, across the globe. But we know that they're a minority. If we look in verse 12, I beheld the church of the Lamb of God and its numbers were few because of the wickedness of the age. So it's the salt of the earth and it's the yeast in the loaf. It's the, it's the minority of those who are in a covenant relationship with God around the world that are preparing where they are for the second coming. Mm -hmm.